Darren and Sonia, from the very beginning, police investigators had little doubt that 49-year-old John Belanger committed the crime, saying that the evidence against him was overwhelming. It was 7.15 on a snowy February night in 2010 when 911 operators got a desperate call from this house in Chester. A frantic 51-year-old Bonnie McKay Belanger was on the other end of the line saying her estranged husband John was trying to get inside. When cops got to the scene, they found Bonnie Belanger fighting for her life after suffering several stab wounds and blood on the door and windows. Police would track down John Belanger shortly after the attack in Old Saybrook. Later, in court, prosecutors made it clear they had the evidence to put Belanger away. The strength of its case also adds to the risk of flight, the victim's dying declaration, uh, naming him as her attacker, the fact that he was covered in what appears to be a blood-like substance when stopped by the police, all those uh, add uh, to the strength of the state's case. Bonnie McKay Belanger was killed despite the fact that she had taken out a protective order against her estranged husband. The two were in the process of getting a divorce at the time of the killing. Belanger is scheduled to be sentenced in late March. He faces 35 years in prison. Just a terrible story from start to finish. Back to you.